Need to think of an intro. What about we do some of the balls again? No, I've done that already this week. Spot the ball. Moose on in the background. No, complaints. Everyone's a critic. Uh, I mean, we do that hang with a kid on him. They've got an intro. That's, that's always... Oh, I've done that last time. Fuck. Glorious. No, I will give in. I will give in till I'm victorious. Hello, everyone. This is CJ Novo 992. And today we're back for another brand new video. Today's video is going to be a mega short and condensed one. Yes, I know that I say that all the time and I drag that bad boy out to 10 minutes. I know, I know I'm bad for that. But this one's actually going to be mega short and condensed. I'm going to call it a catch up, sort of a quick little recap. We have someone else that's going to be joining the club on loan, so I've got that to speak about. We have another talented youngster who's been loaned out, so I'm going to give you my opinions on that one and obviously ask for yourself to get in the comments below. And the third and final story will be a player that we're trying to push out the door, but he's digging his bad boy heels in and he's refusing to go Wolfie Wall Street meme style and obviously we've got the sponsor break as well so we've actually got quite a lot to get through let's keep this rapid fire three two one story number one is going to be the announcement that Koulibaly will be joining Rangers on a season long loan from Angers in the French League what I've been able to find about the man himself on the internet because let's be honest with you none I've seen him play all right I'm just going to put that out there no one has the guy is a little bit different than some of the other players we've actually been linked with in terms of a loan. This guy played the entire last season in the French League, in the top flight, playing football. This isn't a guy that's coming from a youth academy that's played one or two minutes. This is a guy that's played over 19 competitive games in the French League, who's got one goal and three assists. On paper, this looks like a great signing. He's 22 years old, he's got a great injured. But I start to dwell in sort of the uncomfortable, I'm not really sure camp just about here. He's a holding midfield player. Just any midfield player right now, I'd be scratching my head saying, why are we doing this as my laptop tries to speak? But let's go back to the holding midfield player role. Is this guy going to be coming in here to play? Because let's be honest with you, you're not going to be playing in a season in the French League. The only reason you're getting loaned out is because the play the team that he plays for has signed a more established centre defensive mid. So he's been loaned out to get game time. He's coming here. He's going to be getting minutes. So let's take that into consideration when we talk about Ross McCrory and Jordan Ross. Are two youngsters that we have on our books permanently with great futures ahead that needs minutes to develop their game. I'm a bit nervous about this one because if this guy's coming here, because I didn't expect him to ride the bench, obviously. Steven Gerrard is one of the best midfield players of all time, right? He knows what it takes to play in that position. He's played all over. He's played centre attack mid, he's played centre mid, and he's played centre defensive mid for the last couple of years of his career. He knows, he's identified this guy, and he thinks he would help develop the club to get that 55 target. So with all that being said, it does make me a little bit nervous when I start thinking about some of the youngsters that we've got who isn't in the first team. He needs minutes. Greg Docker is someone that no one's even mentioned just now this guy's got a tremendous upside Ryan Jack needs minutes Anfield's been signed what we're doing in this position Gerard all right I'm a wee bit nervous I love you to death but I'm not really understanding what the goal is here unless we're going to be kicking shit tons of centre mids out the game Ajaya's been signed as well I just keep thinking of players and I'm sorry if I'm coming off as a negative nearly I just wanted to give you my honest opinions to this signing it's going to be a kind of I just didn't get it I could come up here and I could be like, yes, I'm buzzing. Smash that like if we're going to get 55. Smash this if he's going to deliver us 55. But that's fake. I didn't want it to be fake. This signing itself is probably the one of my biggest letdowns so far of the summer. Again, I hope he comes here and absolutely fucking kills it. I hope he wins player of the year. I hope he leads us to 55. But as it stands just now, I'd rather we play Ross McCrory and John Rosser in the holding midfield player role. That was my opinion and hopefully you didn't get too angry at it. I want you to be using the comment section below to get your opinions out there. I did ask Twitter this sort of conversation piece in terms of the loans because I'm quite curious to know what the fans are thinking because we're bringing in these loan players, developing players from other academies instead of our own. So yeah, I just wanted to get people's opinions on it. So this is going to be Twitter's but again, use that comment section and let me know yours. So let's jump to the Twitter poll. With two more loans nearly done, that's Umar Sadiq who we spoke about and obviously Koulibaly. Koulibaly, as it stands just now, hasn't officially been announced, but it will be announced in the next couple of days' time. It's all the paperwork and all that BS. The players agreed to come here. We're keen on it, so it's going to be getting done. So, do you agree with bringing in young players from other teams slash academies, giving them game time? 186 votes, votes for yes, they agree, as long as they're overall better than what we currently have. And I think better is subjective, but let's read out some of the comments to see what people's got to say. Scott Young says, if Loney's improved the current squad and are better than what we have, Definitely. Ajaya is definitely better than Barjonas, and Sadiq is definitely better than someone like Hardy. How can you say that? 
like I just I don't know about the Hardy thing. I can't even really agree with that. Everyone's entitled to an opinion, mate. But I've got to disagree with you there. We've seen players coming with big reputations from big clubs. Roringham, that's one. Came through PSG before he was going to walk the league. Came here, got fucking nailed in his very first game. Never kicked the ball again. That could happen with this, Larry. So I think you're being a wee bit hard on the Greyhound there. I'd love to have seen the Greyhound be given an opportunity. But again, fair enough. Andrew Wilson says, I don't know if they're definitely better, but I agree with the rest. Okay. Uh, Ian McDougall said, still think we have loads of talents in the pool of young guys we currently have. Middleton and Rudden could do just a job as effectively as Sadiq and Koulibaly. Also, the lad from Liverpool could be taking a tacky chance away from him too. Now, I like that, Ian. Actually, I agree with you there. I see we're on the same wavelength. Cammy McKay says, if they're a lot better than what we have in our first team, then why not? But if they come in to be a squad player, there's literally no point. We should play Zach Rudden instead of Sadiq. Very fair comment from Cammy there, but again, that has been Twitter's opinion. What is yours? Get involved in the comment section below as we rapid fire move to story number two. Gonna keep this one mega mega short. Jamie Burjonas has joined Partick Thistle on a season long loan. Again that's one of our talented young players. I think anyone who watched the games a couple of years ago when he plays, he's definitely got son. He took a ball that was 60 yards in the air, just took in a sixpence. The guy's got quality and skill and confidence and he looked mature on the ball, you know what I mean? He's pinging passes about. He came into the squad when we were really struggling and he didn't seem to phase him at all. He got involved in the games, was willing to take long shots, was was willing to take long diagonal passes. The guy's got confidence. When I'm going to contradict myself a little bit here, I'm going to go ahead and agree with Stevie G's choice to loan Jamie Barjonis out. And the reason I say that ahead of like Middleton, who I want in the squad, Rodden, who I want to be given opportunity, I think Jamie Barjonis needs games week in and week out to develop his more physical side of the game. And he's only going to get that by playing games. Partick Thistle in the championship, they're going to be looking to come straight back up. That is a fantastic place for him to be. He's going to be getting involved in games each and every single week. And I think that's only going to be the benefit to not only Jamie Barjonas, but to the club itself when he comes back next season, a better player. But that's my thoughts on story number two. How do you feel about Jamie Barjonas' loan? Do you think he's going to come back and ever play for Rangers? Or is this just going to be another curious tale of someone with talent who have just loaned out too many times and he's not quite been given the opportunity. It is now time to jump over to the sponsor break, so grab your refreshments everyone. Come on, hey, let's go. We're almost at 11 o'clock and the video's not even updated. That's it, grab it, thank you. Free to one sponsor break! <laughs> Oh man, it's so hot. Story number three is actually going to be quite an interesting one and a bit quirky and a bit fun and hopefully you get involved in the comment section below. Herrera is deciding to stall his move away from Glasgow Rangers. Now Gerard, obviously, in fact I made a video the other day talking about how Gerard spoke to Herrera and says it's probably best to find yourself a new club. Herrera's went and found his new club and said, listen, there is teams interested in me, but I didn't want to go anywhere. I didn't want to leave Glasgow Rangers just now. I want to play in Europe with Rangers. I want a fair opportunity to play for Rangers because I haven't been. I didn't want to be labelled as a flop. This guy wants to prove his worth. There's teams interested in him. He spent a couple of days, went and got a team like that. Now he's saying, look, there's teams interested in me for a reason. I am a good player. Let me play. Because as the record stands just now, it doesn't matter if we make the argument that he wasn't given the minutes, we didn't play to his strengths. As it stands, he's going to be regarded as a flop. And from my point of view, the way it's looking is the guy's just like, nah, I'm unwilling to accept that. Give me a chance, Stephen Gerrard. But that's basically the story itself. What I wanted to do with this little thing, little nugget of information on, 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 of the situation on, 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 is ask you, if you were the manager, right, you say to a player, listen, I want you to move on, find a new club. He goes ahead and does that, but instead of signing with the new club, he says, look, teams are interested in me for a reason. Give me a chance to play for Rangers. What would you do in that situation on, on, on? You already know what to do. I've been Cedron Over 92. If you don't mind smashing that like button, I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it as it's going to be uploaded behind midnight now. I've messed it up, so no one's going to see it. A like definitely helps out. And obviously, if you're new, subscribing would be absolutely brilliant. Thank you for watching, and bye bye